less yeah, noble profile. Yeah, we'd love to see your face. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hello, Facebook. Leanna Aguilera joining you right now with two of my favorite fellas on TV, Aww. Wentworth Miller, Dominic Purcell, back once again for Prison Break. I cannot believe that I'm saying this right now. I know. Prison it's Break tricky. is coming back. Yeah. When you guys wrapped the series all those years ago, did you ever think that you would be stepping back into their shoes? Mm, you first. Well, I was, my character was dead twice over. I was so going to say. Me, it was, it You're was like, done. No. It was pretty much done. Yeah. Yeah, likewise. I just uh, assumed that it was that was it, and get on to the next job. <laughs> <laughs> and for all you fans who are joining us right now, if you have any questions for these fellows right here, send us your questions, your comments, maybe your concerns, and I will be passing them along right now. Um, one of the things that I think is so fantastic with this new reboot is that you guys were also producers on it. Mm. Um, how much control did you have over your character's arc? Because you know them better than anyone else. That's a great question. I don't think it was uh, a question of how much control. I mean, um, we just have a lot of trust from the establishment, from Paul Shering, and they let us do our thing because we're very familiar with the characters. And uh, we know. we brought the enthusiasm, and then once we got Paul Shering on board, who created the show, um, yeah. that's where I felt like I could just kind of trust that he was going to do what he does best. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Likewise. Now, for those fans who are tuning in, let's say they've been living under a rock and mm. have not seen mm. a single promo. Shameful. Or prison break. Shameful. I know, completely shameful. <laughs> but let's give them, like, what do they need to know before they tune in? Uh, I think you're more articulate than me. In this <laughs> regard, so. Please dive in. No, no, you dive in. I'm curious. Go ahead. No, I can't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, you know, the show, I think, these new nine episodes, I think you can approach them as a brand new viewer. I think they do stand alone. Mm -hmm. But if you have seen the original um, four seasons, all 81 episodes, and a lot of fans have, they just watch it on a loop, which is awesome. Um, there are a lot of goodies and Easter eggs in store. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, of course, we cannot get through an interview without addressing the tattoos. Mm -hmm. You guys got it down from, I think it was four hours when you initially started the show, down right. to two to three hours. What was that like for you, and, and were you trying to limit the shirtless scenes in this go-around? There's a brand new tattoo this time around. It's on my hands and lower arms. It took about 45 minutes every day, which actually um, wound up being more time in the makeup chair than the original, which was maybe um, once an episode for three, four hours, the application. Um, but it's a, great, it's a great piece. It's a great kind of gimmick. It's one of the things that makes Prison Break pop. It did the first time, and yeah, I absolutely. think it does this time, too. Yeah, it even inspired David Beckham to get a hold. Bunch of tattoos. Oh, I that. really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, he, he credited Prison Break for that. I that's, love that. That's right. Yeah. It's inspired lots of things. Shows. Yes. People. Mm -hmm. uh, but so when you had these new tattoos on, I imagine it was difficult to wash off. Were you going out and like going out to dinner and people were like, <laughs> what is going on? No, I would take them off at the end of the day. The okay. problem was during the actual shoot. Michael is so tactile. He's always MacGyvering some mm -hmm. bit of business. So I was constantly touching things. And the tattoos would start to degrade, and we'd have to apply them three and four times a day. So it was, it was labor-intensive, but I trust that the end result is worth it. Definitely. Uh, we have a fan comment from Ashik, and he wants to know what motivated you guys to do this reboot in the first place. Well, um, we were working together on The Flash, and... Um, um, <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, the, flash, the Flash, The Flash. <laughs> And uh, Wentworth and I, in between takes, and of course, we're just reminiscing about the good old days and what have you. And, uh, you know, we started um, thinking about the possibility of, uh, well, why not? Why not um, revisit Prison Break? And uh, once we decided to do that, um, we went to Fox, and uh, it, it happened very fast. I mean, they, um, everyone was very much aboard. And at the same time, simultaneously, I think Fox were all also in the process of um, wanting to revisit the show and then it just was just very fortuitous that we were also wanting to do it and then mm. things just came together. Mm. Well and you guys were already in really great shape for The Flash mm. but I imagine did you have to step it up a little bit again once you were stepping back into prison break? It's not a huge concern of mine um, and it's also kind of true for the character that he's not meant to be uh, a physical force mm -hmm. to be reckoned with. He's got some skills but his his prowess, if he is a superhero, it's kind of neck up. It's his intelligence mm -hmm. and it's his integrity. And I wanted to honor that by not working out. No, well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, for me it was, uh, yeah. 
for me, uh, you know, I, I walk around about 185 pounds as Dom. Lincoln's 210. So I, uh, I, I had to do a lot of eating and uh, muscling up. Mm. Uh, but one of, one of the things that I love so much is that you've always been so open on social media. About a year ago, mm. you addressed the fact that people had been saying negative comments about you, about your physical appearance. Why was that so important for you to address that? Um, there was a meme that went around, and I had a response to that meme, and it kind of touched on a lot of important issues that don't just impact someone like myself, but can impact anyone. Um, there was body shaming, um, there was a depression piece, there was a, a suicide piece. Um, it's one of the beautiful things that I find about social media is that if you are someone who is struggling with mental health issues, um, there is a community online waiting to receive you. There are resources there to support you. Um, I think that's one of the ways that social media um, is to all of our advantages. Well, and this is the first time you guys have really had social media while this show has been on the air. Mm. Are you guys thinking that you're going to be like live tweeting? Does this change mm. the game a little bit than when Free Break was first on? I mean, I've never tweeted before. I mean, tweeted, <laughs> uh, tweeted before. You've got the that, terminology down. Yeah, that, and, uh, I've never tweeted that <laughs> before. Um, I'm on social. I'm on social media. Instagram. My kids. Um, demanded it be so. Um, I don't really interact with the fans, but I, uh, like Wentworth was saying, I think social media is a, um, it has its uh, disadvantages and it has its advantages. And, uh, um, you know, it's just a nice way to kind of just to say thank you to the fans. And, um, yeah. Um, we are still getting so many amazing fan comments. Michelle mm -hmm. says, I'm so thrilled that you guys are coming back. I loved, in all caps, prison break. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Shane says, ooh, what can we look forward to this season? Give us your best tease. Death. Death. <laughs> Mayhem. Mayhem. Um, Possible resurrection. Yeah. yeah um, Tattoos. <laughs> it's always. <laughs> breaks. Yeah. It, it's still following the same template as the original Prison Break. You know, the, the intensity, the suspense, the, the intrigue, the drama, um, the living horror that these brothers are constantly living in is still very evident. Mm. Um, you know, and we were, we were talking, we were, we were discussing yesterday that there were three, I mean, we, we, there, there were three kinds of prisons. You have the, the building, that's the prison, and then you have... Um, in this particular series, then the country itself is a prison, mm. and then you have uh, the prison of the mind. Yeah. And I think the prison of the mind really resonates throughout Prison Break. Mm -hmm. We're all trapped in our own um, prison, and it's a, it's, a, it's a process of trying to get out of that and everything else. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm curious to know, how has Lincoln been as an uncle this whole time? Well, he hasn't been a very good uncle. <laughs> He, um, after um, Michael died, uh, Lincoln went into a spiral and went back to the streets, um, did anything he could to survive, and um, it just compounded his, his depression, his, his uh, uh, turmoil. Um, and uh, once uh, he started, once he figured out that there was a real strong possibility that, that Michael was alive, he, uh, you know, there was a sense of hope, mm. rejuvenation. Well, I am so excited that we are having these nine episodes, but you know what I'm going to ask. I already know I'm going to want more. <laughs> Is there a possibility that the show could continue on beyond this additional season? I'm open to it. I'm open to it as well, as long as it pays homage to the legend of Prison Break. Definitely. Yeah, it's got to meet a certain standard. Yeah. Yes. But anything so that we can see your bromance continue on screen, I'm Aww. all for. Yeah, thank you. Appreciate <laughs> it. When you guys weren't filming the show and before you were on Flash, how often did you guys like text? Do you constantly keep that chain going? Well, um, the great thing about Wentworth and I is, you know, um, I have, uh, you know, a deep pers uh, respect and love for Wentworth mm -hmm. as, a, as a human being. And it really has got to that level where he's like my brother. And uh, brothers don't really contact each other. I mean, they don't really hang out together. And Wentworth, have, and Wentworth and I have never really socialized at all outside of work. We don't, we don't have to. Um, there's just an unspoken bond there. That's why it's kind of, it's, it's a step beyond friendship because a brother will tell you something that a friend might not. And that's, that's what we've got. Mm -hmm. I love that. Mm. Uh, one of the things that I was concerned about, Dom, you showed me that amazing scar on your head yeah. from that accident. Right. How you doing? It's I'm, been about uh, a year now. I'm doing good. <laughs> I'm finally back. All right. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Um, does that make you weary about doing stunts in the future? No. 
my, my lower back does. <laughs> Is there any, was there anything that, the, that they were like, hey, we really want you guys to do this? And you're like, I don't know if I can. Well, as I've gotten older, uh, a young man, I mean, as a person, I'm very physically um, orientated. And, you know, I'm all about doing my own stuff. But I'm 47 years old now, you know. So I'll do some of it, and I'll let my stunty do the other stuff, you know. Whereas before, it was all, I'll do it all. <laughs> and I'm just like, no, you do that. I'm going back to my trailer. The beautiful thing.